Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Matted Screen Media Reviews. I am Matt. Today we've got the Magnificent Seven remake trailer for you. Uh, Going to be taking a look at that. It is from Anton Fuqua, featuring Denzel Washington taking over for Yul Brenner. Um, most of you don't know this. I am a huge westerns fan, so I am extremely excited, but also very, very worried that this movie could be pretty bad. Uh, supposedly it's also going to feature the last score of James Horner, so thumbs up for that, if that is actually true. Uh, but let's get going on that. Sir. Ooh, I have Denzel. a proposition. We're decent people being driven from our homes. Slaughtered in cold blood. Okay. Whoa. So it's not a Mexican village back. anymore. I seek righteousness. But I'll take revenge. Okay. Dubstep. Took a job looking for some men to join me. Hmm. Is it difficult? Impossible. Okay. How many you got so far? You and me. All right, Chris, I don't know that. Quite a batch of strays. This is not going to end well. Dang it, I'm good. Why are they playing House of the Rising Sun? It's not New Orleans. How many men you say? I guess for the good side of things, I will say that it is well cast. Um, I dig just about everybody in it. Uh, Chris Pratt's always pretty reliable. Um, yeah, um, I'm sure the movie's going to be pretty awesome, but I'm not that impressed with the trailer. Uh, I didn't like the way that it was cut. I thought House of the Rising Sun, although it's a great song, was completely inappropriate for a trailer for a western that doesn't take place in an opium den or a prostitution location, otherwise known as a brothel. I want it to be good. I love westerns. I really want it to be good, um, but I have my worries. Uh, Anton Fuqua is generally a pretty strong director. I dug Southpaw. Um, even though it was basically Rocky 1 through 4 smashed into one film. Uh, that said, this one does look well shot. A lot of great action sequences coming up. Um, I like it when Denzel Washington plays a badass. He's always very good at it. Uh, and he's only got a few more of these kinds of movies left in him if he's going by the Liam Neeson time clock of how many action movies you get to make before you're like 70 years old. Um... Yeah, I'm 50-50 on it. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully uh, from now until September 23rd, its release date, it gets a little more refining. Some better trailers come out. Um, curious to learn some more about the new characters that come into play here. Uh, it's an international cast. It's actually a very uh, diverse cast, which is actually pretty, pretty cool. Um... And yeah, who doesn't want a tough lady shooting off a rifle at some bad guys? Hopefully this all works out. Um, but yeah, it still makes me wish we had Eli Wallach crowned, because how cool would a cameo from Eli Wallach have been for this? Uh, 
Thanks for watching. That's all I got for you on this one. Be good out there.